What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Yes Man. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Woo. What I meant to say was, here's my review of Netflix new movie, Yes Day. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Trust me, I was half dragging my feet to this one because I figured, oh man, here's another Disney wannabe family-friendly movie where the trailer already gives away the whole plot. What is this? Alexander and the horrible, terrible, no good, very bad days, long lost cousin? So my initial level of enthusiasm was pretty low. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that Yes Day is groundbreaking, because it's not. But damn it, once you start watching it, it's hard not to like Yes Day when the actors seem to be having such a blast enjoying themselves. Based on Amy Krauss Rosenthal and Tom Lichtenheld's book, scripted by Justin Malin and directed by Miguel Arteta, in Yes Day, always feeling like they have to say no to their kids and co-workers, Allison and Carlos decide to give their three kids a Yes Day where for 24 hours, the kids make the rules. Little did they know, they'd be going on a whirlwind adventure around Los Angeles that would bring their family closer to each other than ever before. I've lost count how many movies I've seen now in which Jennifer Garner always plays the wife slash mother in a suburban nuclear family setting. But hey, she doesn't seem to mind getting stuck on that role. And I guess that's probably why Peppermint was near and dear to my heart, because it reminds us of the action Jennifer Garner we used to know. Back to Yes Day. The premise is basic, the script is paper thin, so all that the film basically has to do is fill up the runtime with all kinds of wacky activities that the parents have to say yes to. And of course, nearing the end, the kids realize that too much of a good thing is bad and that there's a reason why some no is needed every now and then. Yada yada yada, everybody hugs, you get the picture. The film plays within the boundaries of what's generic and familiar. So again, the shenanigans are the film's biggest appeal. I mean, who wouldn't want to go through a car wash with their windows down? I, for one, have always wanted to try it at least once. They even did an elaborate PG-13 style house party with sugar, not alcohol, but with massive creative foam bombs. No togas, of course, but it's pretty over the top wild. This movie also allows us to see Edgar Ramirez in a non-serious, non-tough guy role, and his slapstick comedic timing is surprisingly sharp. The film points out the mixed racial couple of Jen and Edgar's characters, but it almost never makes a big deal out of it. Overall, Yes Day is just a silly fun movie that you can enjoy with your loved ones when there's nothing else on to watch.